What's up guys, welcome to Street Rides TV. And amongst some of the most beautiful classics I've ever seen, we have something a little bit newer. Not my cup of tea, and I don't mean that to be funny. Not my cup of tea and, and, and crackers, whatever, or crannies, whatever these old rich people eat. This is not really my thing. A lot of rappers went with this because of the status symbol. But it is a beautiful car. I love the two-tone. I love the suicide doors. These mirrors are absolutely fucking ugly. Look how big and bulky these things are. Look at that shit. That looks like it's out of a fucking Toyota Sequoia or some kind of fucking minivan. It is a Rolls Royce though. Guaranteed to get you some ass. It's sitting on 255, 45 R20s. And I believe if I'm correct that these, nope, these are not the ones that spin. They'll stay stationary. Or actually, they don't stay stationary and they actually spin with the wheel. It does have the hideaway flying spur symbol. It's a very beautiful car. Not my cup of tea though. Very nice. It's got some uh, barcodes on it. I don't know if those are from the parking decks or from being previous rental. I doubt this was ever a rental car, I'll tell you that. Let's check out a back view. I always start with a 360, then I get into some details. Nice chrome trimming around the headlight, uh, taillights. Nice exhaust pipes, semi-built into the rear of this bumper. And this is what the bottom of one looks like, if you guys ever wonder. Nothing too fancy. It's got parking sensors on the back bumper, as you would expect with a car that's about 200 grand. This car in particular, you could probably find for around 100 grand now. When it first came out, it went as high as three, 400 grand. It's got a nice metallic flake to it. If this was buff, this would shine really nice. It's a really nice black and metallic flake. Interior. It's exactly what I expect from Bentley. Very nice. Interiors are one of their strongest points. A lot of the parts are handmade, or all of it is handmade and put together. Very nice steering wheel, got a lot of control there. Reminds me of uh, the Maserati. We got some controls in the center back here as well as air conditioning ports. They're open and closed with the pull button. I love how they keep the old style, old English kind of car style and technology, but they incorporated it into the new car and it is nice. You know, I'm actually a little more impressed now that I get to look at one. You know, the interior a little bit better, a little bit closer. I've seen these before, but like I said, I got my, um, I guess, you know, my good and my bads about this car. Like these mirrors are ridiculous. Um, the price to me is not really worth it um, unless it's pushing 500 horsepower, which is possible. And if it is, comment below. Let me know if you know the exact horsepower rating of this car in particular. I love to learn about cars and this is all this, what it's all about. We're community, Street Rides TV is here to uh, almost almost killed myself guys on this old tree bar just to bring you this beautiful car with ugly mirrors. <laughs> so comment, hit the like button, share this with anyone that you know and please guys help me support, help, help me support this channel and grow this. I'm bringing you a lot of cool content and I devote a lot of my time even though I really don't make any money from it. It's really just to get feedback and to talk to other car enthusiasts. That's why your comments really mean more than anything to me. And it, it really encourages me to keep going and making these videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram, XavierSantos47 or Street Rides TV on Instagram. And if you ever have trouble finding our channel, just search Street Rides TV or go to streetridestv.com. Peace.